Yo, what's up everybody, it's me, Thomas Love Arts again. And yeah, today I'm doing a little tutorial, cause I made these like pixel art things, like I found a own unique way of making them. It's pretty easy actually, and I thought why not share it with the world. So I have like this artwork of Trevor Phillips, I made like on the 25th, like for Inktober. And I thought like it would look amazing if it actually was pixel art, or at least I think so, we're about to make it, so let's get right into it. So I made an, made an empty canvas, like it's 1000 by 1000, pretty generic, like I want to have it as a profile picture, and the first thing we are doing is like we drag this Trevor into our canvas, I think like it would look amazing if it like, if it's like zoomed in like this, so let's keep it like this. So what you would usually do is like you go and like you need to have like a like thicker lines. Like I usually have thick lines in general. Like my art style is pretty thick. Like the line variety goes like from real, real, really thin to real thick. So it actually helps. But if you have like a artwork let me show an example this is what i made for my homie that voice guy and i actually had to like made make a unique sketch so if you don't have an artwork already draw something and make sure the lines are thick so you need them later on if you don't have an artwork or if you have already an artwork and you can draw you don't need any drawing skills by the way for this so this is the way to do it first step is go to edit uh, preferences and guides grid and slices maybe you should show like the grid first so you have a little grid in front of you and if you have like a thousand by a thousand like I do like I always use that for profile pictures but if you have it like these settings should fit you 15 by 1 but it depends on your line like if you have like thicker lines maybe you want to go more like, let's say maybe 30 see then you have like like it depends on how big you want your pixels to be, maybe you can't even see it. Oh, where is it? Here. See, now, now the pixels are like really, really thick. I want like less, so this is 20, I think it should work. But I'm gonna change the color for it, because I don't like working with like such bright red. And yeah, since I have drawn this already, I will go just use my artwork as a sketch pretty much. Turn on the opacity a little bit. Next step is go to window. Oh no, sorry, view, snap to grid and make sure this this is on. Also show grid and snap to grid. And snap should be on as well. But this is like really really important so your marquee tool the rectangular marquee tool snaps to it and now like I will I will speed up most of it but just to explain you see where this line is inside of this rectangle it needs to be colored black and here as well here as well as you can see this line is majorly the majority of it is in here but also in this one so we make a thing here like a box but here you can see like there's a little bit in there, but like it depends on how you want it, but I usually like don't add this because it will just block most of the thing out. It's really not noticeable. As you can see here, there's a black line in here. And here, for example, it is in here, but I won't add it because this will look better if it's not like full so you can distinguish this line from this line you have like to have at least a little bit of a sense for this and yeah you just keep going on like you make this how you want it to you can also go larger also, also i i press shift to add add, add, add a selection and like once you have a, a decent selection going on, you just make a new layer and make sure you're doing it on this layer and just press Alt and 
return and fills it in. I don't think this is black actually, it is. And as you can see, you already have like something going on. With Control H or Command H, you can um, hide those lines and see. I didn't like snap to the grid properly, I guess. This can happen, make sure it doesn't happen to you. Like small areas like this can ruin the whole artwork. And this is about it. Like it's not really more than that, but you know, everybody on Twitter wanted to know what I'm doing. I'm just following my line works from the old one and I'm adding to it. It's pretty much all. There's not much to say. See here the same thing. I could. Yeah, I am probably gonna add this one. Make sure it's filled in. And this is like really, really easy, but, but a repetitive process. So you, you need to do it over and over again. And Alt Return. There you go. This is like I'll speed it up. Also, if you don't know what Alt Return is, you can also go to Edit, Fill, uh, Foreground Color, which is this. Or if you have black on the other one, it's background for foreground color. And OK, and it will fill the whole thing if you haven't selected anything. So make sure you select it. And yeah, I will keep on doing this and I will get back to you. Like, I will speed it up and get back to you as soon as I have something to show or talk about. Another thing, like in here, this is like a really thin line, but you can just like make few pixels in there just to show that there is something, you know. Like these are adding detail and they know you can't go really into detail with pixel art, but you can add some of it. Alright, we got a little something going on right now. So it does look a little bit like Trevor from GTA, but it will show more once we have the color and shading in, which is like really important. Like I know I'm not the best explainer, like the best tutorial making dude, but yeah, I think I do just enough of a good job so you can understand. So make sure like I just realized the thing with the line work, don't add like any line you have. You can, but I wouldn't suggest that. Only like the important lines, like see those detail lines. I don't think they are, like they are not that important or here. This is not really important. I added, I left a little thing here so you can see he has his car, but the color will really show like a few details more and it will really pop. Like you gotta remember what pixel art is. People back then didn't have enough space and enough room for details. So they had to be creative, so this is what we do now. We try to replicate the old style of art. So the next thing I will do is just take this artwork and put it over here so I have like a little reference for color. So I can choose my pick thing, my color picker, and pick my colors. But I wouldn't suggest you to go with the base color. Do like the brightest or darkest color and for shading I wouldn't suggest like a lot of colors. Maybe only the main ones, like three colors max for the skin. Like I have like six or seven in here, in a in that artwork, in the original artwork. Yeah, this is really not important. You gotta keep it like minimal. It's all about minimalism. So let's, for example, take this, like right here, this bright color, and we still keep this artwork below. And maybe I will change the background color to black. The background color to uh, black here. Yeah. So it shows more. Like when we add the bright color. I have to repick it. You make another layer below the line work. And we just go and do the same thing over again. But with the bright color. You know, it's not just lines now, it's it's whole areas we're selecting. Um, while I'm doing this, I want to just really quickly say something. Um, I know, like, I really don't do a lot of tutorials. 
and I think like this is not really hard to do but I might have like gone a bit too crazy explaining things if it's too hard for you please let me know and I will really try to keep it basic for like really beginners but it's really not like it's really not that hard and I really want to teach you how to do it and if you're really just a beginner please let me know and I will make something easier like you can see like this artwork is not really that simple to do for beginners for example and if you are just a beginner and you just want to learn bare stuff like I do plan on creating tutorials on like stuff like this for bare beginners and this tutorial is more like for advanced Photoshop users I feel like like the way I've been explaining it, but it, it can be really easy. So if you if you are not that experienced, please let me know if it's too hard to follow, and I will make sure to follow up with a second part with something really easy. And yeah, we can try and do something. Like I really want to help everybody, not those who already know how to use Photoshop. So please let me know. And back to the speed art. Okay, so once you're done with the first color, just pick a second color and like make a layer for it. Start putting in the second color, which I like if you started with the highlights, go to the darkest shadow color you have or you want to use and keep on doing like new layer and make the lines pop in like the grid and start doing it. Same thing as before, select the darkest area like you see in the background. Use the skin color here, the highlights and here like darker areas and we color them in. All right, we are at the last color for the skin. Still the same process, make a new layer and color in the all blank um, skin color, uh, skin portions. Like, this was like a really, really, really fast pixel art compared to everything else I did. And really, if I would like wanted to do it better, I would like add one or two more darker tones in there. Okay, so you can see now, like, if I switch between them, it looks already way better. And you could also maybe go in there and add like white in areas like these. And it pops even more, so this is what I made like, let me see how long this recording is. I made, made this in legit 30 minutes. You can do it better if you take more time. And as I said, if this was too fast for you or too, too complicated, please let me know. I'm happy, like I would happily make another version with something simpler and explain it like easier for everybody to follow. Subscribe for more and also the most important thing, comment below what you want to see because I'm slowly getting into these tutorials. I think like I'm not the best at it, but I want to learn it, help me learn it and tell me what to do next. Until then, peace out.